Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can make login and registration system in Laravel. So, I am going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning. First of all, let's can create a fresh Laravel project. For it, let me just go to my folder and I'll create a project over here, my Laravel project. So, let me just go at the top and I am going to say here CMD, press enter. It will open a command prompt and we're going to create a Laravel project. So, I am going to say here Laravel new and we need to give a project name let's say our project name will be laravel op press dinker so it will ask us a question uh, would you like to install any kit we are going to say here none press enter we are going to say here zero which is paste press enter after that it will start creating our laravel project so this will take some time right now i'll just fast forward the video a little bit so right now it will ask us a question which database would you like to use we are going to use mysql so let's say here mysql press enter and for now we will not create the database so here our uh, default database updated we are going to say here no press enter after that it will install a few more packages then it will ask us would you like to run npm install and npm run build we are going to say here yes press enter so this will take a few seconds so there you can see our project creation is complete so right now we can just close this and there you can see it is showing us some command that we need to go to the project directory then run this command so i can just directly close this and here you can see this is a project that we just created so let me just go inside and this is the label project so again in the project directory we are going to click at the top then we are going to say here cmd press enter and there you can see currently where is the project directory so here we are going to say composer run dev press enter so this will run our project and there you can see so here you will see this uh, info server running this link so we need to copy this and we're going to paste it over here in the browser so we're going to get a error let me just show you if you now press enter there you can see it is showing us an error because we didn't uh, open the xam so here we're going to open the xam control panel and we're going to run the my apache and mysql there you go so after that if we now refresh it will still show us a error and that is unknown database laravel auth so in order to solve this what we need to do is that we need to go back to our command prompt and let me just press over here control c and we're going to say over here yes why press enter here we need to say php artisan migrate and press enter here it will ask that uh, database laravel or does, does not exist would you like to create it we are going to say here yes so it will create a database and the migration so if we go to our pcmyadmin right now and you can see this is a pcmyadmin uh, you can see the link so here we need to go to our laravel or database which is this one there you can see it created a database for us automatically since we just uh, run this command piece condition my get so let's go and run our project again we're going to say here composer run dev press enter so you can see this running so here if we now refresh then you can see this is our page created laravel project so now we are to make login and registration system over here and how can we do it that is really simple in order to make the login and registration system we need to write five commands which is this five command so the first command is composer require laravel slash jsteam so we are going to use jsteam to create our login and registration system so let's go back to our project directory again and here you can see this is our project directory here you can see laravel auth so we already have the command prompt here so we're going to open one more command prompt let's say here cmd press enter so the first command is composer require laravel slash jsteam and make sure you write this properly so right now we're going to press enter and it will start installing jsteam in our laravel project and uh, it will take a few seconds and once the jsteam installation is done we need to install liver so the Liber command is this one psq addition jsteam install liber and make sure to give a clone over here so we are going to write over here and i'll also give those command in the 
comment or also in the video description as well so right now we're going to press enter and it will install library and there you can see it will ask us a question that new database migration or added would you like to rerun your would you like to rerun your migration here you must need to say yes then press enter and it will create a new table for us in the database and our library is almost done while it is installing let me just go to the project uh there you can see there is some issue but we will solve it don't worry and it is done so there you can see it is showing us an error over here so how can we solve the error that is silly symbol we need to run those command npm install npm run bit and so let's go back to our command prompt and we're going to say here npm install Then npm run build. Let me know the refresh here. So there you can see it is showing us the Laravel uh, login and register system and also the Laravel welcome page. And if you are having some issue with the home page design, what you can do is that just open your Laravel project using any code editor. So I already opened it using Visual Studio Code. Then go to resources viewers then welcome.blade.php and over here you will see this if condition uh, so for the styles and scripts so remove this if condition then here you can see the else condition so else condition started over here and it ended uh, over here you can see just after the style so we are going to remove this just save it like this and the welcome based design will be fixed after that, go to your register page and there you can see this is the design and also if the register page design is not working, I will suggest you that uh, go to your command line again and what I mean is that stop your composer run dev. So here I am going to press Ctrl C and it will ask us a question. We are going to say here why press enter. So it will stop our project from running. So here we are going to again run over here composer run dev press enter. So if you are not uh, seeing proper CSS in the register page or login page, make sure to just rerun the composer run dev. Okay. So there you can see it is working. So right now we're going to give our name over here. Let's say name will be Yamin. Email will be Yamin at that of gmail.com. We're going to give a password on 2345678 and confirm, confirm the password. Click on register. And there you can see it took us to the dashboard and we have the profile and the logout option so let me just go to our uh, database table which is this one then i'll go to the users table and there you can see we have a new name email and password here so let's try to log in let's keep our email address then the password on two three four five six seven eight click on login and there you go it is done so this is how you can make login and registration system using JScheme in Laravel. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. If you have any question or any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.